Well, I hope you were listening to Anne Nightingale's Rock in Russia and right towards the end of it, her woman was saying that she was sitting in a taxi in, in Moscow recently and heard them play a Genesis song followed by a Van Halen song and as though they didn't have life hard enough as it was. Uh, we've got sessions tonight from the Bundu Boys, The Fall, The Darling Buds, Terence Trent, uh, Terrence Trent Derby, The Electro Hippies and The House Martins. We're going to start with The Electro Hippies. And now The Bundu Boys. Darling Buds, I do like their stuff. I must say, I'd like to see them live one of these days. I couldn't remember is the title of that. And here's a marginally more detailed work from the Electro Hippies. <laughs> You won't be too surprised to learn that plans are being made at the highest level for us to have another session from the Electro Hippies as soon as we possibly can. That track's called Sheep, and here's one from the house, Martin. There's big names as well, you know. Play in the rain. Julie and John jumped when they heard a loud noise.
What a session. I think one of the most unforgettable that has been broadcast in the whole time I've been doing programmes for Radio 1. The Electro Hippies, and that was Meltdown, and before that, Starve the City to Feed the Poor, uh, feed the poor rather, and before that, the Bundu Boys and Do It Say. Tomorrow night we've got sessions for you from Catapult, Cud, uh, with the Wedding Present. I think that must be their Ukrainian one. I've rather lost track of what's happening when, but Holly Holly also, Extreme Noise Terror, and the Abs, who also come from Newport Gwent, like the Darling Buds. Oh, my soul. That's Terence Trent Darby whooping and a hollering through Heartbreak Hotel and Manish Boy. Back with the Electro Hippies. the tranquil portion in the middle of that. Those are the Electro Hippies, and that's Escape. All of this, as I say, available on one of those Strange Fruit EPs. These are the House Martins, and this is Sunday Isn't Sunday. Even when they're not on mid-season form, I still love them. The Bundu Boys, and that's called Rugare. And uh, I should thank once again, for the last time for this year anyway, all of those people who sent us Christmas cards. We're having them pulped, as we usually do once the festive season's over, because they, with the addition of stabilisers and some flavouring, they make a wholesome breakfast for all the family. These are the Electro Hippies. <laughs> looked out of the window. Those are the Electro Hippies in session. Great stuff. It is a bit frustrating, to be perfectly honest with you, doing these uh, Festive 50 programmes, because over the past week, I mean, I've been listening to stacks of new records, and I've got a lot of really good ones, which I'd like to play uh, now, you know, but as it is, I shall have to wait until uh, next month. It's good discipline, good discipline for me, I suppose. Uh, that was called Thought, and here's Terence Trent Darby again.
You won't be surprised to learn that I'm rather hopeful that we'll get them in for a new session fairly early in 1988. Whenever I mention it to Walters, he sort of hums and hows a bit and changes the subject, but I'm sure I'll bring him round to my way of thinking eventually. Those were The Fall, of course, and Guest Informant, and that was for Eric Bainbridge. The Electro Hippies and Chickens. <laughs> Ten to a one. Strange creatures, chickens. Those were the electro hippies, and that was called chickens. And from the darling buds, and this is the last before we get into the festive fifty. This is the other night. 